physicists broke the speed of light. The speed of light has long been touted as the fastest possible speed that any molecule or wavelength can travel. And at about 300,000 km per second, this appeared to be a pretty safe bet. However, in the interest of constantly pushing the limits of what we think we know, researchers recently demonstrated that photons, which are elementary particles that have zero mass but carry an electromagnetic charge, can be manipulated in ways that could allow particles to break this as yet unbroken barrier for speed. In several recent experiments, researchers have recorded that waves composed of groups of photons were able to move at speeds faster than the speed of light. In fact, in groundbreaking new experiments, researchers from Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California and the University of Rochester in New York were able to get these photon waves to speeds that were an astonishing 30% faster than the speed of light. While previous experiments were able to manipulate photon waves by moving them through cold atomic gases, refractive crystals and optical flares, these new record-breaking trials used hot plasma full of charged particles to conduct the light waves at such incredible speeds. Although it seems futuristic for speeds to have been recorded faster than the speed of light, in truth, the researchers actually ingeniously manipulated already well-understood principles of physics in order to create these results. Photons move by pulsing with electromagnetic fields acting upon the waves, which have what is known as group velocity. The researchers changed the group velocity of light pulses within the plasma by stripping electrons to manipulate the refractory effects. Although the speed of light waves remained constant, the overall effect was of increased speed and acceleration. These discoveries help researchers to understand even more about the laws of physics surrounding plasma and how it can be used to further develop current models. But why bother manipulating these particles if they lack mass and therefore could never allow us to reach the stars, no matter how fast they are able to go? Although we cannot rely on them to show us the way towards faster space travel, the principles uncovered during these experiments could help to uncover new types of lasers and other technology. Currently, certain aspects of these promising technologies are being held back by technical difficulties created by barriers of physics. Researchers are hopeful that the new knowledge surrounding increasing speeds of photons in hot plasma will allow for the creation of newer, much more powerful lasers that model the electromagnetic characteristics of these experimental photon waves. While you might not think that lasers are altogether an important aspect of science, they are an integral piece of technology that could usher in advancements such as more powerful particle accelerators and more effective clean fusion technology. Breaking the speed of light, even if it does not necessarily spell the future for spacecraft being able to reach faraway stars, still holds great promise for being able to usher in a new era of technological advancements. Hubble video reveals mystery object in Jupiter's red spot. Jupiter's red spot is infamous as the eternal storm that has spanned several centuries. Recently, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope discovered a strange object residing in the crimson storm itself. Hubble has been tasked with observing the weather on Jupiter because of its advanced technology. Hubble's wide-field camera produced two huge maps of Jupiter over the length of 10 hours. According to planetary scientist Amy Simon at NASA's Greenbelt Maryland Center, every time we look at Jupiter, we get tantalizing hints that something really exciting is going on. The red spot of Jupiter is a colossal hurricane that is more than double the size of our planet. Its existence is perplexing and has excited scientists since it was first found over 150 years ago. It appears to be becoming rounder and gradually shrinking. In the past year alone, it has shrunk a shocking 150 miles across. Its hue too seems to be turning orange. The mysterious entity in its storm is a ghostly thread-like object that spans the entire length of the hurricane. It has only recently been uncovered and is yet to be identified. The object is spinning at an extremely high velocity. Data reveals that although the storm may be shrinking, it is certainly not stopping. The speeds of the winds increased by 8% in the past decade. 
Most of the time, the storm's winds exceed 400 miles per hour. NASA hopes to collect data maps of other gas giants. Michael H. Wong, a professor at the University of California, states, the collection of maps that we build up over time will not only help scientists understand the atmospheres of our giant planets, but also the atmospheres of planets being discovered around other stars, and Earth's atmosphere and oceans too. Wong adds, this is something only Hubble can do. Hubble's longevity and ongoing observations make this revelation possible. At this time, what the object is remains unknown. Scientists at NASA are working tirelessly to further analyze the storm in hopes of gaining more photographs, videos, and data, but Hubble is only able to glimpse about 150 miles across at any given time, out of the 10,000 miles that the red spot encompasses. The object could be anything, from some strange storm residue to something more cosmic and sinister. Only time will tell. Explosion tears through Betelgeuse star, leaving scientists confused. The red supergiant in the constellation Orion, Betelgeuse has been a frequently studied star by astronomers. In fact, they have been watching the rhythm of its pulse for about 200 years. One of the reasons for this interest is that Betelgeuse is one of the brightest stars in the sky. It usually has a magnitude of about 0.6. Strange behavior from the star in recent years led scientists to believe that the star may be getting ready to explode into a supernova. Adding to mysteries surrounding the star, which lies about 548 light-years away from Earth, is that recently an explosion tore through the star. This explosion, not an explosion into a supernova, left scientists utterly baffled. The explosion is actually even more surprising to them and the star is now recovering from the explosion and apparently bouncing. The team of scientists studying this event has been using the Hubble Space Telescope, along with other equipment, to observe the star as well as the explosion and its after-effects. As mentioned previously, the star is one of the sky's brightest stars. However, in 2019, scientists began to notice changes and believed that it had actually exploded and created a large surface mass ejection, similar to the ones that our own sun throws out. Interestingly though, the ejection from Betelgeuse was about 400 times stronger than the ones from the sun. According to Andrea Dupree of the Center for Astrophysics, we've never before seen a huge mass ejection of the surface of a star. It's a totally new phenomenon that we can observe directly and resolve surface details with Hubble. We're watching stellar evolution in real time. Scientists believe that ejection may have started deep inside the star and eventually stretched across millions of miles. They think it may have later blasted off a piece of the star which left a cool surface area and dust cloud that made the star appear dimmer. Additionally, the pulsation rate that scientists had been tracking for 200 years has disappeared. Scientists are now struggling to explain this explosion. One piece of technology that may be of use in this endeavor is the James Webb Space Telescope, which may help observe the ejected materials moving away from the star. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.